Okay. Okay, this is already on. So, um, the TikTok people's over here. No! It's like surgery, guys. What the fudge ripples? WD-40 on that. Yeah, we do because this is it's sticking. We could use some honey. I got it. I think is it? Am I stuck? Am I stuck, Ray? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a capture. So it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's everything's fine. It's fine. It's. Give me a moment, people, and you'll be able to see. We will be busting up the umbrella today. Oh my God. It's October, and it's fucking hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. See, we have this camera on. We have to put the cameras on. And I got four cameras here, and everything's stuck shut with honey. La la la. La. Hi, y'all. You get to listen to my yelling at the cameras. Sorry, it's not as colorful as the other things I say. We are, we are on. We're on. Live on Tiki Talkie. We're Tiki Talking. And Yui Tubing. We're Yui Tubing. YouTubing. YouTubing. YouTubing down the San Pedro River. Now I gotta get my gloves on while I sit We're you here. YouTubing down the San Pedro River. Just balance. <laughs> Stay balanced, people. Stay, Stay balanced, people. As Put Tres you. would say, wait right there. Uno, anyway. uno momento, por favor. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy, we are that close to the border. So when we're this close to the border, of course, we're dealing with be legals. <laughs> oh my God, God so almighty. Nice. Anyway. Well, good morning, everyone. We're going to let everyone uh, log on, log in, sign on, get in. Uh, I don't know what I'm wearing. Yeah, she didn't know what she's wearing. Anyway, her straight jacket fell off again. Sad, but true. Tiny ass gloves. So, I'm Reed Booth, Killer B Guy. We got Trez on camera action and Hosh being handsome and famous over there. Somewhere over the rainbow. We're going to have a little... Oh, I was like, ready to go! Do you know where the umbrella is? Yeah, I do. Oh. It's the shade. Ah. Oh, oh, boom, look at that. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Okay, introduce yourself. I always make everyone introduce themselves. Guys, oh. get over here. I was going to find gloves that fit, but. Why? Because anyway. these are cutting Hi. the circulation Hi. off of and my you hands. Are? Colleen. This is Colleen. Because these are cutting off reading. the circulation. And we're here to save the day. <laughs> They are cutting off my circulation. Yeah, but what about the gloves? Oh my god. These are way too small. Uh oh. Sorry. I can I think they were. Yeah, we gotta soak these gloves. Wrong in umbrella land. Hey everybody. You can walk you can run the time. Is it oh, sticking? We have an umbrella cut. Oh, we already have bees on us. Of course we already have bees on us. Killer Bee Nation, Reed Booth here, Killer Bee Guy. We're at Colleen's house up here in beautiful Cochise County. This Is this officially Pierce, Wilcox, Sunside, Sunny Zona, or uh, Dragoon? The said Pierce. Pierce Township. Had me at Pierce. Had me at Pierce, yes indeed. So anyway, it's which is huge area. It's just broken. It's just unlike the. Uh, are you sure it's not operator here? It's not. It's all schmuck. <laughs> so Colleen uh, has this wonderful property. The views are incredible. The house needs a little work. <clears throat> yes. Yes, just a it little does. bit. Yes. But when did you notice the bees? You said that a couple of years ago you had this work on. Uh yeah, a couple of years ago I had. Uh, Jen gentlemen come out and remove the bees and the beehive and all the honey yeah um and here we are a couple years later and they came back yeah out of tucson the guy came down of course we're we're local as in completely insane i mean local anyway so uh 
we're here to do it again, but of course we guarantee it for two years and won't come back to this spot so that Colleen can work on, you know, Colleen spiffing the property up. She can't do anything. On top of that, it's doubly bad because we've got two hives. Yeah, that, and as you guys know, and I was just telling Colleen this, when, even though every hive, and you guys have heard me say this before, even though every hive is an enemy of every other hive, the only reason they visit each other is to steal honey. Mm -hmm. They even smell different to each other. Mm. Just, like humans, mm -hmm. you know, like our individual cells. My cells can't go live on you. Your cells can't go live on me. Same thing with the beehive. They can't even visit each other. There is no borrowing a cup of honey. They're going to steal it, period. So it, they can live right next to each other. Has everyone seen the, the beehives out in the fields? You know, a pallet with four hives on it? Just like an apartment complex full of neighbors that hate each other. <laughs> that narrows it down, doesn't it? They can live right next to each other, but they can't even visit each other. So same thing goes on with a situation like this. It looks to me like they're what? What do you think, Hosh? Ten feet apart? Twenty. Maybe twenty feet apart. Okay, way too close. <laughs> but the alarm for oh now, Trez is already snickering. What do we got? What do we got on Trez? No, just it was. I was laughing at something no, else. Okay, I know that, but what? Anyway. Nothing to do with this. Anything on the screen. Okay, all right. Nothing she can repeat. Anyway. You said it, not me. So we're gonna. So anyway, they, once one hive gets riled up, as you know, the, the attack pheromone's the same. So we're in the middle of nowhere, thank God. Or if we were in town, we'd be going door to door, telling everybody to keep everybody in. Might even have the police out and fire department to stand guard, you know, keep looking loose away. You guys have seen us do all that shit. Out here, we're pretty much good to go. We might even get out. I don't know if you saw any of the videos, but we like to educate people. Mm -hmm as irreverent as that may be. <laughs> we love to educate people. Mm -hmm. We have used, Hosh, do we have the stuffed animal? Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, so we always talk about how they attack dark furry things. We like to stress to people that if you have a hive, say under your shed or, or out in a stack of tires or in, in your porch, and you have animals, those animals can get attacked in one second. So we have a stuffed animal that we're gonna bring out so that we can show everyone how they attack dark furry things when they get mad. We, it's a really macabre way of educating, but that's what we do. And so we want to show everyone what can happen because these bees, when they attack a stuffed animal or a live animal, they go, they burrow in the fur. Mm -hmm. And it's very unnerving. It's kind of like getting them in your hair. You know, that horrible, look, God, I hate even saying it. And they, because they're trying to burrow in to sacrifice themselves to kill themselves for the cause, which is defending the hive and driving you away, but it's really overkill with these killer bees because they don't care if you're dead or not, they'll keep stinging you. Mm -hmm. It's all attack pheromones. It's all the ooga horn and the submarine. They go completely insane. Yes. Oh, no. Hi. Say hi. Hi, everyone. Uh oh Now, after we get done with this, this will not say I love you. It will say I hate you. That's what the... <laughs> That's what I don't even know what this guy is. Is it a primate? Yes, that's it is a, a primate. Looks like some kind of a chimpanzee. Cross between a primate a and a bear, I think. Yeah. I don't know, but anyway. Oh. No stuffed animals were hurt during this. This is a stuffed animal, everybody, for crying out loud. You can't hurt them. We already have bees around, don't we? We do. Yeah, we do. I think that Colleen's going to be running into her car pretty quickly <laughs> here, actually. So we're going to bring along Junior here. What do we? We got to name him something. Stupid. Stupid. Huh? <laughs> Stupid. What are we going to name him, everybody? Stupid. Let's come up with a name. You guys come up with a name for, oh, yeah. you know, whatever his name is. You know, speaking of which, I have in my possession, it's in that truck in the back of the Ranger. You ain't going to get arrested for this, are you? No. Okay. The Beaver. <laughs> it's Remember County. The Beaver? Oh, we got The Beaver? I've got him, and I was wondering if... In the back of this truck? No. Oh. No, no. Another stuffed animal. It's full of dead bees and stingers and stuff. Oh, it would be good to do a comparison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Come, about what they will attack. Of course, we don't know what they'll attack, why, when. It's a mystery because they, it's like I tell everyone. It's like every hive nowadays is like a great big bomb with a really short fuse. Why is and it? And you don't know what's going to light that fuse. Except we're guaranteed that we're going to like that here. So, 
All right, my dear. We're going to chase you in the truck before they do. And uh, Someone will, said uh, name him Bobo. Yeah, go ahead and get on YouTube. Bobo. 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 Oh, oh no. Bobo. <laughs> all right, that's Junior it then. Let's get to work, ass. everyone. We're gonna... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pull the truck up. Uh, and you, you want to, yeah, pull your car up and all that and, you know, get it. Yep. And if you hear what sounds like a little girl screaming, it's, it's actually all three of us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're getting the show on the Beep, 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 Okay, this is getting stupid now. Yeah. <laughs> Zip right, up guys. your dang suit. Thank you, but what about the... <sighs> All right, well, um, how's our signal look? Did, hey, everybody, please let us know pixelation and all that. We've got this uh, reboost going that uh, Why? got for us. You guys want to see a fun video, go to honey laundering. For some reason, it's really difficult to see the screens today, probably because the way they are. What happened? I can't see shit. Can't see I'm, shit. Blind. You're, you're blind. I'm blind. Right, I'm blind. <laughs> it's always great when your camera person here. is completely blind. Oh, look, blind. he's walking. Uh, he's walking with his little I'm walking uh, with bear. The bear. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Now I'm walking right, through right, here we go. All right. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are killer bee exterminators. Killer bees were created in a Brazilian laboratory oh, in 19... Oh, yeah. In 1957, they escaped, got out, and they went all over South America, Central America. They hit the U.S. in the early 90s. By 1998, 100% of the feral unmanaged honeybee hives in the state of Arizona were deemed to be Africanized, a.k.a. killer bees. Killer bees kill people. They kill livestock. They kill pets. They kill animals all over the place. We find dead owls, okay? They're also an existential threat to our native pollinators. They're a deadly invasive species. We kill every hive we find, and uh, we're gonna kill these bees. So, this is one hive here. The second hive. The one I saw. There you go. Uh, That's not the same, huh? There's no way. What about me being the bear? Venom. Oh, that's a good name. Someone said name the bear Venom. I think that's a great name. And folks, forgive as usual. It's hard to see all the screens. Yeah. So we've got two hives here. We've got bees up there. It looks like they're coming in and out of the paraffin. Yeah, they almost pulled away. Very, very difficult. Always a bit of a hassle to stand the tiles. I know they look nice, but the truth is they are fit for infestation. Unless you're in Spain, fuck them. Right. Okay. So we got them coming in and out up at the top. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then we've got, we've got them coming in and out. Oh, they're coming in right here. Look at, there's a hole right yeah. there. Yeah. So Underneath. Stop it, job. Right. See? Right. right. Yes. Yeah, so this is hollow and they're in there. Yeah. And you see where they're coming in under so here? That white piece, that hole? Yeah. Now they're not right. what they were. Where? Um, right there. Oh. Huh. Really? To the, to the right. They may be. They were coming out of this one over here, they up here. They in the ceiling here, too. Yeah. Um, they were coming out right here, in this corner. The They're coming out right here. Yeah, let's see. Yep, look. Can All you right. see that? Hold on. I'm going to go in. Can I grab that thermal quick? Because we're not going to live stream inside. No. Can you see that, Reed? They're up in the uh, soffit. Right there in this corner piece. Can you see? Yep, yep. Yes, I can. Right there. You know, we're outside, so it's a little more difficult. Okay, here, hand yeah. me that. I'm going to go inside quick and make okay. sure about the other one. Okay. 
You want me to come with you? I'll hang here. I smell uh, shit. All right. I smell poop. What do you smell? Poop. Well, probably cow poop. Uh, or me. The did you, gonna did, go in and take did a you poop your can't. pants? Yeah, I did. Oh, again. Okay. Again. Uh, so yeah, this. This little triangle piece here, they're right behind yeah, that. Yeah, that's. So we're going to be taking this down, no doubt. Probably. Take your shoes. Yeah, stuff. definitely. We'll definitely check our shoes before we go back in. Nope, not my shoes. No. Probably out here, though, because, you know, isn't, what do they call it, free range state? No, that's dog food. Oh, I'm smelling dog food. Um, the man knows his, the man knows his shit. Uh, yeah, so, any questions before we get started? Let's see, let me get right here. Uh, are they in the house too? No. No, not in the house. Not yet. There's a question of whether they're in the ceiling down on that side. We don't know. It, if they're in the ceiling, that's going to change the way we do the removal. They may be up in the parapet. There's a parapet, and they're always hollow, unfortunately. There's a parapet on the top of the house. It's a flat roof. And so they may be in that parapet, or they may be in the soffit on this side. Uh, we're not sure. When Reed comes back out with the thermal, we'll go down and take a look. So anyway, yeah, you can see they're lighting up. They're aggressive. I we are not in Tombstone. Today no, no. we are in, we're in Pierce. Camp Pierce. Yeah. Out near uh, past Kansas Past Settlement. the Kansas Settlement. Mm -hmm. Near, uh, between the Mule Mountains and the... Does somebody live here? Yes. House. Yeah, yeah. It's a recent acquisition. Like a lot of the places that we do, somebody will acquire, a, you know, a, a property that sat for a while and has garnered bees during that sitting. Um, so this is one of one such case. So let's see. What are these mountains here? I think those are the Swiss Helms, are they? Or I don't think they're the Chiricahuas. Cheryl, it is very rare we have people come on on jobs. Um, it is extremely rare, and it's not something that Reed does on a regular basis. Yeah, because of liabilities. Because purposes. of liabilities. Right. Um, it's a lot of extra insurance, whereas um, Hosh is licensed, and I'm an independent video contractor who knows shitload about bees. <laughs> So anyway, be right now happy. we're just waiting for Reed to assess the situation from the inside. Yes, Afghanized bees are in Pennsylvania. Hopefully one of you can get up to the Tombstone PO and get your present trays. Okay. Right on. Right on, right on. Presents and Tombstone. Presents and Tombstone. For those of you who are watching, we really appreciate the gifts. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> send, if you're going to send anything, though, send it to Bisbee. Yeah, send it to the busy post office. Because that's where, that's where headquarters is. Tombstone, we do have a store in Tombstone, but we don't get out there as often. <laughs> I, I missed that uh, the video contractor is uh, able to punch bees. Um, yes, I can punch a bee. I'm, I'm totally licensed to punch a bee. I'm just kidding. I don't know exactly okay, what your comment was. Okay. Can we put the thermal underneath here? Yeah. It is hot out here. Yeah, let's get the thermal underneath. And it's there. getting hotter. Okay, well, this is interesting, guys. Well, uh -oh. actually, you know what? No, I think that's the sunshine. Yeah, we're going to have. This is yet another disaster house. No, I think they're in there. I can't be sure. Okay. But I think they're right there. Oh, yeah, want to take a look? Other. Yeah, sure. Let me take a quick look. It looks right. to me well, like they're in Killer there. Bee Nation, we have got. I mean, if we can avoid the Spanish tile, that's fabulous. Oh, I hate Spanish tile. I mean, it's decorative, and that's all. It is a pain in the proverbial. Okra is heading down. Killer bees and killer bees. What do you think? I think you're orcas, right. Orcas, orcas. Oh, my God. I said okras. I think you're right. Okay, so we're... You can't. We're pulling this down. Yeah. And we're pulling that down. Yeah. Because they're definitely not in there. Yeah. All right, Killer Bee Nation. Um, I'll put this behind the seat. Yep, thank you. Go ahead and turn it off. I'm going to get on the big gloves. Let's get out... Uh, a couple of ladders. Let's go ahead and take that one down first. That looks like Which I one? over there. Yeah, because okay. I think once we pull that one down, uh, that's just a piece of plywood. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna light up. Yeah, it's gonna be ornery as fuck. And these guys will light up also. So guys, we're in for war. Killer Bee Nation. Then you know how it is. But uh, we'll be able to scrape that one all out, get that done, and then ascertain what's going on with this one. Uh, it's just order of events. 
It really doesn't make too much difference, but that's what I feel. That's what I feel deep down. Oh, I'm going to hang out in the shade here, folks, while they're getting ready to answer some of your questions. So, um, when someone asks about killer bees in the Western Hemisphere, European honeybees are basically Africanized in the Western Hemisphere. You can't control it. You can't tell. There's no knowing oh, yeah. if the hive's going to blow up or if they're going to be calm or when it's going to happen. So if you have a hive on your property, it is your duty to have it removed. You can get actually sued by your neighbors if you get if they get stung. Oh. And as far as any more questions as while they're doing the job, um, I'll probably have the camera so here. close to my face I won't be able to see your questions. You now, oh my God, it opened up by itself. Yeah, How the it did. fuck you did got, that happen? I don't know what happened. <laughs> but being under here, I don't think I'm going to use it. It'll be in the way. Well, It'll okay. be... well, we'll keep it handy, huh? Yeah. All right. Just for when you want to prance what? around in the... Way. Yeah. No, but just put it back over here where I had it. Well, we're going to move... Okay. Well, I'm going to move that uh, chair out of the way. So, okay, guys. Not gonna... No, over there. Yeah, over there. As usual, Killer Bee Nation set up. We're... We gotta get our shit together. Um, whoa, that's cast iron. Oh, ooh. oh my god, that's lovely. Uh, pancakes, anyone? All right. Jesus, that's fucking awesome. That's a that's a cast iron. Grandma. That is a cast iron. I love iron. cast Holy iron. Shit, All right, are we ready? Uh, yeah, we're. You gonna start taking those? Are these screws? We don't or, save yeah. because yeah, they no are oh, not to native to the area. I'm gonna move this crap out of the way here. Which narrows it down, of course. These are not native pollinators. They're actually harming our native environment. And uh, all right, well, I'm supervising. You don't call a professional. Never deal with the beehive yourself. You know, like Trez says, everyone, call a professional. Call a professional. Uh, how's it going, Hosh? Please supervise me more. Uh, okay, I'd like you to get the full. I need to be just supervised. so you can all see how we do the jobs here. Hosh works, Reed rigs. supervises, and I just capture it on video. So now oh, you all know. Great. Now you all know what we do. That's really what we do. Oh, this is so exhausting doing this. Oh. oh, it's not so bad. I, I saw my name, but I don't know what it was in reference to. Uh, oh, look at that beautiful reflection there? shot. <laughs> don't you like that? Isn't that nice? It looks like we have two Hosh. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, Yes, call the professional. No, we're not painting. Where the hell are they coming from, Hoosh? Oh, that crack right there. You're crack. Uh, you're crack. You're cracked. I'm going to get a pry bar and a... Yeah, I need a pry bar. Yeah. And so those of you who are just joining us on the live, thank you. Welcome to Live from the Hive. We are killer bee yeah, removal exterminators. That's basically what we do. We do not save... Africanized slash European honeybees uh, yeah, yeah, because we are in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, 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 they, they can go all the way up to Canada. Whether they're going to stay there or not, probably not because it's too cold, but they can get up there. It's, these bees, we get winters here, so don't forget that. Hive right, Tribe, guys. smash the subscription. Uh, <laughs> Ring the bell. I don't know what that meant, but somebody did something on YouTube and that was awesome, I think. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Thank Hive you. tribe, hit smash the subscribe, ring the bell. I don't know. Smash something. Smash. Smash. Smash something. Smash. Smash something. Smash it. How busy are you guys? Uh, Two. You got your drill? Too busy. Get it? Two. Get yeah, it. that one's when you come out. It's stripped. Oh, uh, okay. Well, this is all caulked up. You know what? Someone caulked this up before. Because yep. of the bees. Yep. Oh, well, she said that she had some, uh, but he come out. Two years, right? two years. Yeah, and didn't yeah. do a job. That's why. See, guaranteed when, they were unlicensed. This is what uh, happens when you have some. Guaranteed they had a license. Probably. And cost a lot I of money. Who we thought it might be. Or it was the other one. I don't know, maybe. Oh, here we go. I might be making some headway, and we all know much of headways. Yeah. Ah, come on. Oh, there is your damn thing. Work smarter, Ugh. not smarter. Ah. Come on, you damn. All these people talking in German. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, 
sprechen Sie Deutsch? No sprechen Sie Deutsch, but... Du bist daran schuld. Guten, guten Hagen. Which is your fault. It's the only thing I know in German. What is that? Du bist daran schuld. Du bist daran schuld. It means it's your fault. Great. That might work, huh? Yeah. Oh, Hold on, everyone. So they're already lighting up. Everybody see that? Come on out of here. Damn thing. These bees are lit. Oh, they're gonna be. Ah! Damn ass. Yeah. I gotta move this back a little bit. Get a little bit of leverage. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna take that flat bar and try to pop that down. And then it looks like that one will come off. Right. Were these able to come off? From Ed Bon Jovi yeah. something? What? He's Ed Bon That guy's from uh, my hometown. Oh, yeah. What is up, Ed? What's up, Ed? They... Ed, Ed Bon Jovi? Yeah. Oh, right on, hey, Ed. Whoa. So if Kiki comes on, please let me know. Yeah. Please. Kiki, and a special shout out to Charlie Johnson if he's watching us. Kiki you, and Charlie. Thanks for being with us. Charlie, uh, he watches everything we do. I know a lot of our Oh, fans Charlie, too. yeah. Ed Steve says Charlie. hello. Yes. Is Don? Steve on? Martin. Uh, you want to pick the uh, sure. drill, I guess, and continue with That Lord, reads sorry. the one on the ladder right now. I know. You've seen one. You've seen them all. <laughs> so there, we've got curious bees already. They have not lit up like uh, Hosh and I were t telling Trez, because she wasn't along on that one, but just north of here, on off just off of... Um, oh, okay, just off of uh, Kansas Settlement on Busenbark was where worst bees ever period happened. And these guys have not done that yet. I'm fine with that because I'm all hell's gonna break loose anyway. Oh, yeah. So now Hosh is gonna take out as many screws as he can, and we'll just see. Uh, I don't. They're not in here. But they're up there because they're coming and going, as you guys know from. Where, I, where that came down. I hope they're not in this wall. And this is really exemplifies how uh, the smells of the pheromones last. They will last 35 years, actually. But uh, it's kind of unusual for them to move in at two years later. But they will, you know, they'll move in for no reason, so. Now, when I put the thermal on, yeah. they were right here. Uh, and that's a... Uh, yeah, okay. coming out of here, so it's hard to say where exactly. They're well, we can take they're that still one popping off that you're out in that on corner first, there. Yep. right? Yeah. We'll take that one off this first. This one here? No, this that one. one. Yeah, there you go. We'll Thank you that. for any of those answering questions for people asking questions because we can't always see the screen. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so. If and I don't speak that much German. Du bist not on Schul. It's the only German I know. Sorry. It means it's your fault. <laughs> Obviously, I had a German girlfriend. And she was, I was like, teach me German. And she was like, you don't need to know German. I need to know English. I said, well, teach me something. <laughs> du bist not on Schul. Yeah, it means it's your fault. I know I'm not saying it right. Whatever. I barely speak English. Anyway, uh, so Kiki comes on. Please let us know. And, Wait, Kiki, uh, which one would Kiki be on? Kiki I would be on YouTube. Okay. Okay, Hosh, just got some polar down action going on there. What the hell? What the uh, hell? Uh, it looks like red, redneck in insulation hell? up there, wadded up plastic. Right? That might be part of that prevention. Just make it so that, yeah, it's not, it, it's too many. But this house wasn't built in Bisbee. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, um, oh, we have old comb. Oh, I see evidence oh, of old comb and, and no oh. new comb yet, but Hosh has just got to... I think Hosh is right. Oh boy, I don't want to... Hosh is right. They're I don't want to break the... this. Why not? Why not? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> We're all like, why not? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Hello from Oh, Ireland. you know what? It, you you can't. Um, you always should call a professional. Call. Never deal with bees yourself if you live in the Western Hemisphere, uh, meaning oh, eat. Wow. Oh, man. Guys. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. What a man. And we haven't even gotten into the actual live hive yet. But there's bees, so there's a hey, hive here. Gary said uh, you speak very good English. <laughs> well, I got someone fooled. Gary LaForge? I don't, I don't know which Gary. Yeah, probably. Oh, boy, look at all this. Yeah, okay. well, so we're doing the next so one. we got to get all this out of here. 
Oh, I uh, pull that stuff down, close your eyes, and yeah, yeah. I got my goggles. Oh, you got your goggles. He's got on. goggles on, and we don't. So. You've got so it. Whatever this. Whatever, whatever this is. So the camera's looking. Oh, wow. I'm not. Look at this. Oh, what do we got? What are we looking at? Here, let let Trez get up there. What do we got? Or grab the camera. Well, right now it's just. It's just oh, bags. Oh, skeletons. They're just old. Defunct. We're looking for the real shit, aren't we? Yeah, I am looking for the real shit. No, shooter. actually, we're doing this job completely nude. Underneath all these clothes. Yeah. Underneath that suit. Underneath all these clothes. Reed we're completely naked. Just has so you know. other clothes. Well, and under those clothes. Oh, right I know. He's I know. naked. But I want to get this stuff down. We're in a hive up there on the right. The black stuff is actually, time. you're seeing black there. That's yeah. really, really yeah. old yeah. comb. <laughs> old comb. Um, <laughs> what happens is the comb old. gets darker. So Hosh is going to scrape the old dead shit. Here, Hosh, stick this up there so everybody can see. I wish I could get on the other Hosh? side. Oh, hang on. Take hang this on. up. I can, um, no, I can't. Well, it's way up in there. I want everybody to see what Hosh is looking at. I thought at I could get up the, in this side. As far as the old dead stuff. So this is. So that's honey. I see honey. Oh, I see honey. Yep. I yeah. see honey. I see honey. We got right old, old stuff old here. Old it's an old dead. hive. That's honey. Oh, that's Back honey. behind that plastic. Boy, that looks good, too. Okay. Well, that is honey. That's that's like a uh, capped comb. Yeah. Okay. Are you? I don't know if you should stand on that. But I mean, we I'm gotta, paying like nothing. We gotta get all this out. Plus. Pain in the ass. All right. Uh, all right. So Hosh is gonna scrape all that shit down. How does this one look? Is it pointed the right way? Yeah. Looks like a little wall. It is now. Well, there's a long history of infestations here. Yeah, it looks like it. That is really old, old, old comb. Old comb. Really dark. Uh, really old comb. And then we're gonna pull down the next one and get into the uh, big one. They're they're already lighting up. So it's here's actually the genetics thing, gang. Whoever nice. came out here and did this job, bless their hearts, they um they didn't get the old comb out. Right. You and it attracted it a new hive. Yep. You've got to get the old comb out. This yep. is why I know it's destructive. We tear into these buildings. People are like, why not just new conceal everything? Well. Just dump poison in, because this stuff hangs around. And the pheromones get out and it invites a new hive to come in, and that's exactly what happened in this situation. And a woodpecker pokes a hole. Yep. Uh, the house settles. That's all it takes. You know, if the house settles a little bit, the weather changes and there's a new little crack somewhere. Yeah. All it takes is a crack a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch. And if there's a hole or a crack like that and there's room behind it, whole hive can live there happily ever after. So yeah. these old buildings like this, it, they're just one big crack. Alicia, big you just you just gotta you get used to it. Alicia's get, like, yeah. oh my god, I can't yeah. stand the noise. Keep ha, your ha, eyes you open. To that? You know, I mean, people here we're so used to shit that bites us, stings us, or stabs us. We're always looking down for snakes. Wow. Uh oh, what do you got? A lot of comb. Uh oh. And uh -oh, it's wrapped uh -oh. in plastic. Oh, can you pull that other piece down? Uh, can you that piece of wood. Hold on. All right, I did break the chair. I hope nobody liked it. Well, it was already cracked. You broke it. I, I broke your chair, your plastic chair. The big odors over there. Now I'm gonna get this. Okay, can I get this? No, I can't. That's filled with cement, I think. I think that's filled with cement. Not for the city. Oh my God, Hosh, you gotta show everybody what that is. Yeah. Sure. Up there. Yeah, that's yeah. just amazing. All right. Nobody can see that. Oh my God, everyone. I think I'm gonna get the There you go, gang. So we got a full-on infestation here, and I don't know how deep it goes. Reed did go in there with the thermal and check the camera, or you know, checked it to see if he he had any kind of heat in the ceiling. And uh, nothing. Well, we'll see. We'll see how far back it goes here. There's Tres. Hello. Um, we're in P.S. I want this connector in this one. Just past the Kansas settlement. Oh, show that. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. There's honey here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hollow on this side, but honey on this side. Oh, my God. That's a good one. Can you, uh, do you need the light to look up further in there? He brought, he brought them in, this? too, just oh, so no. I know. Wow. Let's show everybody what it looks like in the sun. So if you come out here... Trez, no, yeah. I point, can point the camera directly up, and then oh, I. Oh, you're gonna write it. You're gonna block this one out with the honey. Yep, I'm gonna block this one out with the honey. Up, so up. tell me, 
Well, they're all different cameras. Yeah, well, we're going to so move wait, you, from you, camera to you camera. You stay still. Hang on, because it's easier for me to do this. You okay. stay still. Look at that, everybody. So that is what opposing hexagonal construction mm -hmm. looks like. It's hard. I got bees flying on me. I can't see shit. Okay, well, th that is the sun coming through. Isn't that just beautiful? I you hope guys? you all got oh, a yeah, good yeah. view of the, um, the design. You need a light? That was basically no. design. Watch. But now, can you get this from over here? You can see what's up in there? Yeah, you got to get out of the way, though. Okay. So I can look at your face. Okay, come on. Come on, get Um. Oh, I wish I could stand on something, though. Uh, you're standing on my nerve. They're starting to blow up. I have one left. Standing okay, on my nerve. Is your last one? Here. Yeah, my last nerve. Oh, we got honey. Why did you bring more so I could stand on them all? All right, so the venom, the venom, I can definitely smell the venom. You smell the venom? All right. All right I'm going to get some for Chris to stand on. Yeah, I just want to get better shots but let you do your job. Holy... Oh yeah, you can see. Uh, if you look over Hosha's head to the left, that's where the old hive was. Oh yeah, over here's the old hive. And then the new hive. The new one. And the reason there's a new hive is because ever the who new, took the old hive out can didn't you do take her. a step that way and go up? What do you see? I can see that cone. Yeah. Beautiful. But it looks like it goes past that. Um, it does. Yeah. I don't know all the technical building terms. Oh look, they're stinging me. They're singing oh, me. I know, I get the wrong gloves on, but you know, it's just easier. And I'll look. Nothing? Well, here, will you hold this for a second? I'm going to check that little trash can. Yeah, sure. Oh, and there you I go. If I can tip right. it upside down. All right, very good. Wow, these guys are lit up, huh? Yep. Yep. You, you need the uh, tug? Huh? Oh, boy, look at this, you guys. Look at this, you guys. It'd that, be better if I could just get stuff to you. That's fine. There's a lot of Pure honey mesquite, here. everybody. Wow. There's a lot of honey. Uh, right okay, Trez thinks that she has something to stand on now. A leg to stand on, and she does. All right, there you go. Okay, guys, I'm going to be <laughs> honey control. Wow. Yeah, these guys are not happy about us. No. Look, no, and look the truth them. is, I'm not happy about us. <laughs> hey, what's your course? I reply. Right. Wow, that's pretty. That's beautiful, honey. This should be, this should be a uh, pure mesquite, but this is a wildflower mix. It's a darker honey, and so we have a lot of. Uh, I just got bee piss in my mouth. Good. Oh, good. I hate that. Good that's my It's good for you. And yes, people, that is a thing. Bees. Oh, Bees do shit and piss. Fuck. What, what do you got? I'm just getting dirt down in my face. Oh, don't uh, close your mouth, I expect. Yeah. Should we pull that other piece of wood down? Because that's going to expose the I whole thing. I hear you. I oh, look at him in the corner there. Let me see. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Look at this, everybody. Hold it up. No! That's pure comb. That's like I 10 pounds. I worked at Disney way too long. Wow. No, you guys know how we've been finding so much brood comb, which is where they raise the babies. We're probably going to get into that. I really think that How long would you survive without a suit of protection? It depends. On this job, five minutes. For what now? To die? How long would we survive without a suit? About five. Oh, well. It, you know, there's that thing that the uh, Marines say, the Special Forces, they say, uh, you can run, you're just going to die tired. Um, yeah, that's about someone it. said it may have been venom. Well, the venom comes out with their guts, so it wasn't venom. I know the smell of venom, and yeah, believe me, right. when you get the little right squirt, yep. it's, um... So we're going to take that down, we're going to see if can take pooping. down... Yeah. Yeah. It actually smells different. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to remove this other piece of wood because it's going to expose the rest of it. He's had a problem. Oh, there we go. B-squirt, yes. B-squirt. Oh, yeah, I we can see. do whatever we need to do here, host. What the hell? Because oh, okay. Thank Colleen can't do crap. I, there's a bird's nest. Oh, good. We got, we got rotten bird's nest. Let me move this other one. Oh, there. yeah. All right. Insulation. All right. We got some of the everyone. The chrome is safe. Out of the way. The chrome is out of the way. Got some nasty ass rats. 
shit going on up there. Man, these bees are mean. And you know what's happening also, everyone? The bees from the I was going to say the other hive. The neighboring hive are attacking. And uh, forgive my loudness, folks. I forget. The neighboring hive. I get excited. Oh! oh. What do we got? Comb. More comb and more comb and more so bees. Comb, do you oh, wow. Them? Oh, wow. So if you have a brush with death, is there comb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the venom. Man, they are bouncing off me like hail. All right, are you done pulling shit out of there? Yep. All right. You want to? All right. Want to bring that the now, fans in uh, there? Do you, oh my God. Right. Right. Uh, okay. That's, settlement. That's a bit much. Let me get the light on. Oh, it's hold on. Oh, it's I think it's Kansas unsettlement. Look at that. That is huge. And not very nice about it. Uh, Trez, can you see the camera? Is it look good? Oh yeah. Wow. No, we're in. We're near Kansas Settlement, which is a oh, town. Oh yeah. We're near Kansas. We're in Pierce. Okay. We're in Pierce. We're on Kansas Settlement Road. <laughs> There's some mean ass bees up here. You yeah, know that? <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to slightly. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to move my about? can. Please. I'm going to move my can. Moving the can. That's what I'm saying, my folks, a can. Oh, it's a little late. Well, better never than late. Crude comb. Yep, that's all for Hosh's chicken. So look at how dark this is, everyone. The person that did this before did not remove this. So this is where they raise the babies. This is what I was ta talking about before. This shouldn't be happening. There should be no babies being born right now. This is the end of October. This makes no sense at all. More brood. What the? God dang it all. This should be all honey. You know what this, this is. Should weigh, I should not be able to pick this up with one hand. This should weigh about uh, 25 pounds. It's just another sign of the forthcoming apocalypse. It's just a, it, they are spitting out swarms. That's the only reason that they lay so many eggs. More. More brood. This is rude, is what it is. Rude brood. Okay, so much for my example of how they attack uh, dark breathing. Oh, oh they man, are, they're in there. They're in there. Oh, oh look. Hand. See how they're getting. Oh yeah, look hair. at there. See they're burrowing in? Yeah, I think he wants to try to raid this hut. He yes. wants to take a, a closer look. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, did it... got a mouthful of something. Yeah, well, there it is. Okay, no stuffed animals were harmed. <coughs> are, you, are you okay? Oh, sure. <laughs> had a bee in my throat. Anyway, um, you know, they're burrowing in. It's just we need something with shorter uh, fur, I think. I want, I'm just standing here holding this damn uh, primate or whatever the hell it is. Uh, this has nectar and pollen. So There's so many that. comments coming in on TikTok, I can't even. It's like... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, TikTok, we'd love to answer your questions and comments, but... Yeah, we will later. We're we'll, we'll try in, to in later. We're, we're in right the middle now, of it. Oh, have... look at this. is all pollen, everybody. Yeah, bee bread there. It's mm -hmm. bee bread. This is the food of the gods right here. That's going to go into Viking. Kind of honey. Uh, it's, it's honey. <laughs> it looks like mesquite and... Um, Wildflower. Now up here I would expect mesquite mostly, but this is really a lot of pollen. There are two types of yes, plants are right now that are still uh, that are blooming over the last to rock. Oh it's delicious. If you want to taste the honey, you can order <coughs> killer bee honey at killerbeeguy.com. Yeah, go to killer bee guy. If you want to try Viking honey, which is very limited. You gotta call the store. You have to call the Bisbee store directly. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna um, get the light up so everybody can see what most yeah. Nothing but pollen. Nothing oh no, there's pollen. a little bit of brood. A little bit of brood on the end. Well, look, like one, two, three. Yes, thank you, four. regular viewers. We'll we really, off. really appreciate that. That's fucking awesome. We'll there's too much The pollen. truth is, if I do this, yep. you're getting all the pollen that's going to preserve away the pollen. I would say yep. this hive's pretty old. Oh, wow. I cannot believe how much pollen there is. I mean, this is just <laughs> crazy, you guys. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this is a yeah, full-on Africanized hive, everyone. Look look it up there. Look it up there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, wow Keep right. the light on it. Wow, there is so much pollen in here, Hosh. Holy shit. Yeah. I am really impressed. Yeah. Look, it's just sheet after sheet. Does it go further back in? Yeah. Oh, no. 
Oh, no. It's big. It's, it's... Well, thank you, but what do you think about the... I bet. Yes, Jesus. folks, this is insane. More pollen. Okay, we got an abundance of pollen and brood. And okay, we're um, about to, there's a big old chunk of honey Oh, that here. looks like something that fell down. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Now, there we go, back in the honey. Look at all that, Kelly Nation. Oh, honey. Oh, I just missed the big wow. Beautiful, wild crafted honeycomb. The rarest honey in the world, actually. It's... Hey, if you guys want to have some fun, uh, Google Arizona Highways and Killer Bee Honey. I'm in this issue. I'm not sure what's going on there. This is honey. Yeah, this is the honey. Uh, this is actually working out pretty damn good, huh? Yeah, so far so good. Wow, what a nightmare, though. These bees would have killed anybody without a suit on. Oh, yeah. About 100 <coughs> times over. Got it. They called you pop and so funny. Called me what? Pops. Somebody called you Pops. They must think we're like all related pops. or something. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is? A trailer park? We ain't no I can't believe what I'm being. Me neither. Got it. <laughs> no, actually, we see this a lot. I might have to get another tub here. I think you're gonna, because he's got more later and we got the other hive. Oh my god, this is craziness. Look at more more yeah. comb. Oh look at that. Yeah. Look at you can really see the design. See that? That design? Oh, wow. Those are those are drone cells, those great big They're cells. Cute. Yeah, see, you just saw how those production. are all different sizes. Keep the production cells, yeah. going here. More nectar from the uh, fall uh, flowers. The uh, yeah, you know what, Hosh? I gotta get another tub. Okay. Yeah. So I gotta put a lid on it. Here, can I throw this one in? Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. Good. All right. Hold on a second. I gotta get a lid. Do we have a lid? No, not out here. Um, yeah, I brought one. Okay, I gotta find it. Uh, we're getting the wind. So. Oh, here it is behind you. All right, Killer Bee Nation, hold on a second. I gotta get another tub. We're gonna have to open up some more wood, huh? Close to get in the uh, I don't know. I may be able to reach it. Look at how they're still like pouring out of that corner though. Oh, the thing good. is, Reed, yeah. if we're gonna open anything else up, it's gonna be the ceiling inside. Yeah. Then, you know what? I've been in there. It's not possible. Okay. Too much stuff. Okay. I mean, no, we don't use smoke. They don't. It doesn't really. Yeah, these Africanized bees, they don't really respond to smoke. I mean, superficially, there's going to be a change, but there's too many bees. Like, smoke works in the bee yards. Works for European bees. And it works for European bees. Africanized bees, you have to understand, they send everybody else out to attack. It's just not the same animal. And I people used really, to. I people wish really I still could. Get that. I wish I still could use smoke. I would. <laughs> hey, if it would work, don't you think I would? Jesus. And yeah, we don't need to use the, the spray adhesive right now because we're not in an area where it's a danger to anybody else. So there's no sense in wasting stuff we don't uh, need to waste. Yeah, that stuff costs money. Yeah. We are running a business here. And now we also though if possible it's really hard to remind people this is not a diy channel yeah all right we uh you won't try this at home we may make this look fun and all sorts of shit, but don't try we want to show people how vicious they can get don't try this at home not a diy channel and that's why if we're in the middle of nowhere and it's just the three of us and we've been doing this for uh combined about Oh, 45 years? 50 years, years uh, something like that? Yeah. 45 years combined. Uh, we will let them light up so you guys can see how vicious they are. Don't try this at home. Although, if we made it look easy every single time, then people are like, well, you know, they make it look easy. Have you ever heard that saying, uh, if you see someone do something that is really dangerous and or complicated and they make it look easy, they probably know what they're doing? Well, that's what we're trying to stress here. Every time you go to the doctor, you're not paying for that 10 minute visit. You're paying for the 30 years they put in before that and their education. All right, so, you know, that's that's kind of what we try to do. So if we can let them light up, well, we will. And also, you know, then we don't have to use product. Wow. Now, if there were some neighbors close by and they had animals and all that, then yes, of course, we'd be doing the, what we always do. Being responsible adults. Anyway. Oh, it's quieted down. Yeah, that's because they, they heard we were here. 
Boy, that's going to take a little bit of uh, undercoating, huh? Well, here's the tricky part. This this back side of this, and how the question is, how deep does it go? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Um. Oh, my God. I'm reaching in. Uh, uh, question, uh, Hosh. Where this slant meets that. Yeah. Is there a header in there? Yes. Right to your right. Uh-huh. And it's part of my dilemma. Because it's in the way. Yeah. So. And we can't film inside. Oh, man. Uh, do you know how far back up? How far back up? No, that's also my dilemma. <laughs> we gotta remove it. Yeah. <coughs> Definitely goes back there a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow, that's pretty. That mm -hmm. is beautiful mesquite. See how light that honey is? That's beautiful mesquite. Wow, got it. Um, oh my god. All right, you want to move that? I've got a bunch of mud dauber shit okay. here. Yep, yep, yep. I just want to get it out. Wow. Now, they will, I mean, there comes a point in every war where one side is defeated or there's a truce. And of course, with I got to wash my hands before I. Yeah, go any further, further with it? Okay. Yep. Uh, and I am actually going to climb up there. Well, Trez, why don't you climb up there and take a look? And, uh,. I mean, there comes a point, there is no truce with these little bastards, of course. But there is defeat on their part. There has to be. There's no way. If we lose, we lose only once doing this because then we're dead. Okay. So, i got to make sure there's no electricity in here either. I'm, I'm seeing a wire. Yeah, that's what I was looking at too. That's yeah. an electric wire, yeah. and it well, goes we right do have through. A, uh, Don sent us a stud sensor. If and I can figure out how to operate it. There's definitely another huge piece of honey back there. Yeah, I see it. And yeah. there's a lot of uh, pollen. A lot of, a lot of a pollen. Lot of pollen. Palm, uh, logistics, everyone. Logistics. <laughs> I'm thinking. Holy flock, yes, holy flock. Holy flock is right. Yep. But I'll say it for you, holy flock. Um, my god, this is kind of a... Oh, wait a minute, there's a cluster. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Nerdy, nerdy. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, this is what I was wondering. We can we can get it from here. We can? Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're going to hoche? Yeah. We can get it from here. Are we going to take the next panel down? This one. Okay. Yep. Yep, we gotta take it down, then we can reach. All right, sounds good. Yep. Okay. So if we pull maybe this whole thing down, I'll let you get back up here and uh, get the, either the screws on it or whatever you need. So there's no thing up in there separating, no two by four separating that from that. So we can pull that panel off, work from out here, reach up in and pull everything down. Sounds so that's good. what I was wondering about. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that one that we did uh, where we're in that roof area up on top of that little office in that garage where it was so tight. Yep. Oh, uh, you know the nightmare one. Another one. That narrows it down. You remember the one with the bees? <laughs> this guy almost looks fake. Alright. Uh, let me move this out of the way, too. I did I saw uh, liking the new. I don't know. I thought it. I don't. It. They disappeared. They keep coming. <sighs> yeah. Ooh, thorns! Yay! My favorite thing with the suit. Is it a hole? No, mm -hmm. I said thorns. Just oh, thorn, yeah. in general. We don't need that. We need the next one. Huh? Maybe it's just uh, pry bar time, huh? Where's... I need, oh. I need the bucket. Oh. You're taking my stick. You want to kick the bucket. It's too I, early. I need to kick my bucket. You're too young. Oh. 
coaches. Uh, well, we we'll make quick work of that. Of course, we never know what the hell we're getting into. I didn't even see any screws in that thing. Yeah, it is, it's old hive, but let me get up there, Tris. Wow, everyone, watch out! I'm oh yeah, this down. oh you're gonna put that. Wow, everyone! Oh what my gosh, so that's hell? old. That's what someone poisoned before. Yeah, that's old. You want a scraper? Yeah, but wow. that'll just attract more. That I wouldn't. Um, do we want to move that back there and have it by the sun? Yeah. We can um, probably gonna, put it. We're going to need it again in a bit, right? Yeah, we can probably put it where it is right now. I'm going to put a little bit on it. Some shade so, there. Yeah. Good idea. I'm gonna put oh, it look there. at this. Uh, look at all uh, that. That is all just, there's no, no brood, no nothing in it. No. No. Empty. Empty. Empty, but attracting them here. Oh, sure. It smells so good. Yeah. Well, this is like ridiculous. Old hive after old hive. This is yeah. the second old hive and then an active one right in with it. Well, I'm glad you picked up all those, I uh, saw those canisters of undercoating. Yeah, holy shit. That was the quickest work you've ever made. Yeah, right? Moving <laughs> a hive. <laughs> all right. Wow. Well, now wow, let's get up in there and see what we got. We've got insulation here. That out. I'm gonna need to get closer with the ladder. Tres. Oh. Just a little closer. I thought you were going all the way. Yeah. There is more comb right there. I'm going to have to, yeah. yeah. But let me get this stuff first. I'm going to get out of the way so the dust and shit doesn't... Uh, oh, let me get the tub then. You're yeah, good. there's honey here. Okay, let me get the tub. Hold on. You want this light, uh, Uh, I, Well, like... Hang on, let me get it in a better position so I can hold the light and the stool in. Okay. Well, Keller Bee Nation, we are right in the thick of it, that's for sure. Well, no, I can't hold those. Two old, old hives and mm -hmm. a... I see. Ah. Two old, old hives and a current one. Honey. Uh, yes, here. So there's a mix of wildflower, later fall. See, the spring honey is mesquite. That's when the uh, mesquite flowers come out and mm -hmm. that's when uh, that's bees love that stuff yeah, maybe you can i don't know if you can aim it better to help him i don't think i'm helping him. Well, oh I'm, i i'm i'm fine i don't oh. need it so the spring is when they make the mesquite it's the first it's actually not the earliest flower out usually it's our invasive fruit trees that we have here and then they get froze out because they the first time it gets above freezing all the fruit fruit trees all the peaches and plums and everything go whee and then it freezes and so, at least up in Bisbee, so it's a real pain in the ass. But mesquites, uh, they are about the last to bloom. We dripping. always know pretty much that winter is over completely when the mesquites bloom. And man, do the bees love mesquite nectar. And it's really light. I mean light as our bee suits when they're new. Or it can be anyway. Uh, the lighter the honey in our neck of the woods, the more mesquite flowers the bees are messing Whoops. with. Whoop, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. That's okay. Well, we're getting a lot of uh, Viking honey here. Look, look better, huh? Yeah. So they're still, you know, they're still pissy as hell, of course. I can still smell venom. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. So then, as the mesquite flowers go away and the bees are turning the nectar into honey, which can take them a week, two weeks, it can take them up to a month, actually. She's going to have a lot of bees farting around here. Oh, yeah. For a long time. Oh, boy, is she. Yeah, even when I spray that stuff. Oh, yeah, well, it's going to be, I mean, there are three hives here, one active. All the neighboring bees know about it. Right. You know? Good uh. God. So, Hosh is kind of cleaning it up so that when we put the, uh, by that, I mean, he put the undercoating on it, because that's the black stuff in a can that we use to, uh, It's because I'm, I'm risking getting stung. You're risking getting stung? To answer your fucking oh, phone. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Have to make everyone wonder. That makes me wonder. Yeah, now in terms of aggression, I'd say these things came out a four. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, four. That's about all they really... And right about now, they're about a three. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. We still got to do the hive on the other side. We'll see what we get. Yeah, I mean, there's still, uh, you know, if without the suits on, we would have been dead a long time ago. Now, there's a lot of robber bee behavior here, too. All right, so that's the neighboring that's indicative hives. of the neighboring hive moving yeah. in, trying to cash in on their friend's uh, demise. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you want to pull All that right. insulation out, I or sure you want do. to rinse your hand first? I'm going to rinse my hands first. Yeah. Pretty gnarly, huh? Look at all this, guys. So robber bees are going to come from all over the neighborhood, which is a three-mile radius. And I guarantee you there are hives all over. And they they are really keen to steal honey. They really would rather, of course, steal it than make it, because it's a lot of work to make. So while he's doing that, I'm actually going to pull this down and see if we can... I can see comb up here really seriously, but if I can pull this down, and there we go. Watch out for nails. I see nails hanging down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of suck. All right. Now, I think that you're going to want to see this. Hey, folks, oh, if yeah. there's any oh, boy. gazoopness. Oh, of... You guys are going to want to see this shit. I got it down, Oh, uh, yeah. Trez, I'm going to move this back. Oh. I'm going to move this back and let Trez get up here because it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm going to grab a trash bag. Oh, good, yeah. I'm going to... Wow, you can see, look at all the bees going in the edge. Wanna, of, look at all this. Here? Look at all this first, though. Look, 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 look. Oh, look, look at all the... Look, yeah, those are remnants coming back from the hive. <laughs> Did you like my... They don't know any better. All right. So, if you stick your snoggin up in there, see it? Oh, the only problem is... With, okay, yeah, keep doing that because that's the only way the top camera can see it. YouTube can't see it because I can't get the camera high enough. Uh, how about if we step back a little bit? Move the ladder back. No, yeah, it's, it's a matter of mark, like, no. I can't angle it up. Here, from see? here I can. If yeah, you, you can. The flashlight. No, that's, this is YouTube. Yeah, but give me the camera. I can get from there. How can you get it? Because I'm way out here in a little. See, stand back. Oh, that. All right. <laughs> well, you wanted me up in there. I'm like, well, I can't well, get Well, that up is always there. preferable, of course. Wait, hold on. Can you see the camera? Come behind uh, me. Uh, okay. Because I can't on a see. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you guys can see I that. I hope you guys can see that because we can't see shit. We can't see shit. We can't see shit. There's such a little space up in there. I know it got caught in the capture very well, we're, we're and TikTok to, uh, has their face up there. It was more, so more calm. It's a high end yep. technical product and to, really just a case. to give One, two, three, Trez four, height. Five, Six or seven. You seen? Feet yes, alone. TikTok got to see it. Six or seven um, sheets. Right. You'll get a better view on when uh, Hosh does his when long or short up. play or yeah. whatever the fuck he does. <laughs> whatever well, the this, fuck he does. I gotta admit, this turned into one hell of a lot more than I thought it was going to. It, uh, I mean, two old dead hives, one seriously active, mean old hive. All right. Whenever you're ready, yep. here. You want to take this up so you can take a look? Sure. Because it's pretty damn pretty. I will get your putty knife, doctor. Uh. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, we'll see what I can do with that. Maybe between the two, the holes, a lot of them are balling up back there. Yep. I'm sure the queen is back there. Yep. And who cares? <laughs> 
You're See, we right. don't we don't care about the queen when we're exterminating a hive. No, we never. The truth queen. is, all it takes to exterminate a hive is take all the comb. They have no food left. They wither yep. away and die. Yep. And of course, in the process, we kill usually uh, ninety percent of the bees at least. Uh, we try to knock down more than that, but it's like herding cats. You're not going to get them all, and uh, they cannot go join another hive. Just like our bodies. Uh, your cells can't go live on your husband's or wife's cell. Oh, look at that. Beautiful comb. Well, that one just stuck up there like a damn knife. You need the light? At no, all? no, I, I, there's no way. Okay. I'm working blind here. All right. Unless his armpit could hold it, I mean, you know. What? What? So, it does, you, you were asking about, this is, you can kind of see the configuration of the cameras in the reflection here. See it? Camera, wow. camera, camera, camera. A lot of Viking, huh? Hard to fit into tiny places. A lot of Viking. <laughs> but so, basically, the queen is collateral damage. Yeah, yeah we, we don't we don't look for the queen. We the queen only matters if you're relocating. Wow, look at this reed. And we're not. Oh, we're that's killing. beautiful. Oh, that's that pretty. gets stood up. Yeah, that's about ten pounds right there. Yep. That's the kind of stuff right there. Whoa, that's beautiful, guys. <sighs> wow. You guys want to see uh, if we have any comb? Me out to Google Killer uh, Bee Honey. And look up the Bisbee store. I can't put out the phone number on social media. Yeah, because, we, uh, we're not allowed to down. put the phone number out in social media. So many rules. So many. It, it doesn't happen to be on the side of the truck, but we can't put it on social media. So many drools. So yes. if you happen to see it on the side of the truck, that it's not right. there. So we got lots of. And that wouldn't be the number that. And that's <coughs> lots of honey. I mean, this is really nice, huh? Oh, this is awkward. Like I said, really nice. No, All right, I gotta show you guys how. Oh, she's trying to squeeze. Oh my God, he's, he's his reaching up and into. You know, it's like hive after hive, just the most this awkward tiny shit, right? Spot yeah. and some bitch just wow. right there. Wow. Holy shit! I've got a big old piece here. Yeah, Holy. I got this right here. Oh come on. Got this right here. Yeah, I don't want to drop. No. Ah oh, shit! I lost some of it. Wow, that's beautiful though. Yeah, that's Holy cow. Holy. Oh my god, how beautiful. It's fragile. The newer the comb, the more fragile. Uh, oh wow. More beautiful stuff. Look at this. Yes, Hosh. Look at that, guys. Hosh has I, I gotta get another tub, Hosh. I wanna save this good stuff. Okay, on the back of the truck. Okay. With lids yep. too. Now, also, anybody that's watching, uh, any comb that gets contaminated with anything gets tossed, of course. So just so you know, that's just how life is. And I mean, it's like one of those duh moments. God damn it. Um, so, and we don't use smoke. To answer some general questions that we always get, especially on uh, the social media stuff, is why don't we use fire? Okay. We live in the desert. Okay. You ever heard of wildfires? Yeah, so have we. No, no fires. We're not using flamethrowers. We're not using fire. So just let that one go. Like uh, Ron White said, next time you have a thought, just let it go. And yeah, you can see them all in the Spanish tile. It's pretty, but it's a pain in the ass. Let's see. So, yeah, I can't get the whole cameras up here. But TikTok, you guys get great views. There you go, because your, your camera's taller. That's as what what you do to get. We still have another hive here, folks. Another hive still. Okay, they're, they're rinsing themselves off. Yes, those chicken noses are coming. I got another one, Bryn. Really? Hell yeah. It's the same.
which we've got the other one. Then we have the other one to go. And I've got some honey up there to grab. Let's okay. see if I can get it. Oh. God, what a cluster killer. Oh, it's this a cluster. Thing is ridiculous. Oh, it's awkward. I mean, you never know what we're getting into, and neither do we. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, I can ask as many questions as I want. And Colleen was great and answered as many as she could. And then beyond that, it's like, okay, yeah. we'll show up on yeah. this day. Uh, now, also, tomorrow morning, you like got, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. That's like a seven pound piece of comb right there. Mm -hmm. there. Complete that with these. Is go look at the honey dripping. Yeah. Now That's you, mesquite. You, you see how light a, it is? You had a really great factoid the other day, Reed. I wanted to follow up with you on. You said that a gallon of water weighs eight, uh, 12, uh, eight oh, pounds. Yeah. And a gallon of honey? 12. Wow. Yep. So honey it's 50% it's heavier. heavier than yep. water. Literally. Yep. 50% heavier. Yeah. And honey is uh, very heavy. <sighs> yep. You okay, Trent? Yeah, I was trying to get a better angle. Man, she has got an infestation here. And I'll tell you, she is, she did the right thing. She called the killer bee guy. And I'm not just saying that because I work for the company. Or I'm standing here. Well, yes, we, you know, we care about these people out here. They're well, yeah, good people. Is, we really care well, about these I mean, ranchers and just, these I've people been, that... I mean, I've been here 40 years. This is, this is family. I mean, these people, are, yeah. you know. And, you know, other people, you know, they can call Tucson or Sierra Vista or Wilcox and nobody's going to come down here because, well, oh, it's too far. And they're, actually, I think they're scared to come down here, yeah. which, knowing a lot of my friends, they should be. <clears throat> right. Just saying. Right. But, um, no, I love it out here. This is absolutely beautiful out here. So, yeah, we've got to take care of our people. People live out here with these most dangerous things we live with now. You okay up there? Just that? hold that ladder. Yeah, I'm a I'm, I'm, I'm home. Thanks. I, don't know if it's I think that, I yes, think they are dangerous to other bees. You got it. Sorry. Yeah, they. You know, about the first the big, time I got to one look at the, the camera. One of the reasons that we do what we do is these bees are a deadly invasive species. Correct. They compete with our native pollinators for resources. All this that you're seeing in these hives, they're hoarding. Yep. They hoard pollen and they hoard nectar. This was and, taken from native pollinators. This food was. Now we can't exactly give it back to them at this point, so we might as well flip it. But the bottom line is, they're really bad for this ecosystem. We're really trying to preserve our ecosystem out here. We're this pro, is. We're pro native pollinators. We're pro native pollinators. Anti invasive. The, the other thing about these bees, honeybees in general, and these are honeybees, although they're psycho honeybees, killer bees, <laughs> is the way that they pollinate they don't pollinate as effectively as our native pollinators do because they did not evolve alongside these native plants. Correct. Pollination is a lock and key thing. It's not a simple matter. Native plants evolved alongside native pollinators and the native pollinators are built in many, many interesting ways to pollinate our native plants. These bees, they don't cut it. So they generalize they don't, they, they're not specific, and what happens is over time, the native plant population suffers just as much as the native pollinate, pollinator population suffers. Correct. So they're really, really bad. Yep, yep, exactly. Yep. Yeah, so, they, uh, and also, I mean, literally about 99.8% okay. of our native pollinators are non-aggressive and solitary. Yeah. They don't stand a chance against these fuckers, but... Africanized bees are all huge bombs with short fuses. So it's kind of a reverse situation. Just because a beehive behaves a certain way at a certain point in time has nothing to do with their genetics. People ask all the time, well, they, they didn't light up on you. How do you know they're Africanized? It's genetic. You can't trust them. That's what it boils down to. They look the same. It's a real problem. Uh-oh, Trez is laughing around. Like, no, are because the way I'm standing here and because the the thing was blocking him holding the water and all I saw was water pouring, it looked like Hush was taking a piss. Oh, we're getting good footage, in other words. Yeah. <laughs> so, they, they're horrible. You can't trust them. See, Someone 99, over 99% of our native pollinators are solitary bees. They're not aggressive. They just want to go about their business and pollinate the plants that they were meant to pollinate. What do you hear? Don't say someone's screaming. Tractor. Am I hearing a tractor? You're hearing it? We're in farm country, for God's sake. Well, I know, but if I heard it's it, like, I didn't know oh, if it... Oh, the traffic out I here. I didn't know if it was that close. <laughs> oh, the traffic out here. You know, you could be out here for three days and not hear someone drive by on this road. There's a tractor a half a mile away, and Trez is like, 
Do I hear John Deere? <laughs> we got another hive. Now another I know, we have another hive. Another she... interesting thing we... Are you we done were, with this? Yeah, okay. we were talking to a guy earlier who's got bees in a propane tank. In a propane enough. tank, I've never even heard of that. We'll, we'll probably end up doing that job, but here's the thing he said, and this there's a lot of misinformation around bees, there's a lot of misinformation around pollinators. He said, well, if it weren't for the Africanized bees, we wouldn't have any bees. No. That's incredible. If it weren't for the Africanized bees, we'd have a lot more bees. We'd have a lot more native pollinators. When we go to an area and we knock out a killer beehive, when we return to that area, there are more native pollinators present. We've seen it over and over again. We come back to a place where we've done bees in the past, we've eliminated the, the honeybees, we've eliminated the killer beehive, and the native pollinators are back. And we've had multiple people we've done jobs for say, hey, the native pollinators are back. Those weird little bees that I didn't know what they were, you know, hoverflies or whatever, they're back. So. This ecosystem needs its native pollinators, and very tangibly, as we remove these killer beehives, the native pollinators return. So this is this is good work, and it works. It's not an abstract thing. All right, so we've got the serious redneck construction going on over here. He's uh, putting the uh, undercoating up there, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that I have it. I was, While he's doing that, Wayne's will coat this whole thing. Oh, I've got so much. To I'm going to take my stool. We're going to kind of work on the My stool. Yes, move your stool. Move in my stool. And it's, it also works in case I have to take a dump. So I think that this is going to be a reseed. Yeah. Oh, system. yeah. This is a block wall. They're going in here. We're going to pull this down. But I want to do serious redneck shit that I have no idea what it means. What the fuck is that? This is a propane tank that is no Oh, longer. lordy. Oh, lordy is right, and I'm afraid. Um, I don't know what is going on with this. Well, and then it's attached to a... Uh, water. But up. So this is attached to water. It's a redneck water heater. Um... It's a redneck water heater. Why isn't it painted black? Because it's a redneck water heater. <laughs> <laughs> Goofball. Jesus Christ, oh, what? You're, you are ridiculous. I need help. We what? Need oh help. my God, did we lose it already? Okay. Did we lose him? Uh, no, no, not Hosh. But because of the angle of this job, so this, this is, is when Don's oops, Don's umbrella is going to come in handy. Uh, oh. The bees are upset about the heater. <laughs> I, I would be too. What in the hell? I, I don't know if it's a would be pressure tank. Uh, they're trying to feed pressure in here and it goes down to these. This is, I, I'm going to take it all apart, of course, because we got to get this shit out of here. We have to take this piece of wood it down right here. Oh. oh my God. I wonder if we can get up there. I could probably get up on it. I think that we're going to have to stand on the. I don't know if you guys can. No, I it can. Rotten. It's not rotten. And yeah, these but they're really tough. We can put a piece of wood up there too. You guys, Killer Bee Nation, we never know what the hell we're getting into, but it's always weird. Oh my God! If I blow up, tell my story. Add glitter. What am I doing? <sighs> what am I? Jeez. What am I doing? Well, I, I don't know. If you're... That's my butt. Where? In your face. I can't afford that. <laughs> they really should make these things more climbable. Yes. Oh, well, there goes and the yes, umbrella. No and like and oh, it's, it's done. All done. Right, so, we have a uh, on sale. Yeah, no, you guys can't stand on this. Hell no. We have on sale. But I can. A little water thing. Thank you. Please add you glitter. Not blue. Oh, you're going to love this construction. I think I'm just going to be here for the. Um. Wow! <laughs> I do love it. I love it. I have no idea what to make of it. Right. Well. Can you? Okay. You want to see that? my face? Hi. Oh yes, the screens are goopy. That's from Bee Guts. All right. So, so I apologize. About on a, whatever the fuck it is. Screen shit. What? I mean, what is this? Well, this is a, a a gas canister. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a redneck water. heater. Well, and this is. 
It's plugged in. This is a water filter. Something's plugged in. I am so confused. I'd unplug that. I am so confused. Whatever that is. Is it unplugged? Just to be safe. You're unpluggable. Yeah, my butt sinks this in, so anything more your, than my are butt? Are you talking about your butt so goddamn much for us? Because everyone is. Oh, boy. Because, see? Yeah, so you know what's going on here? You can already see it. We're going to have to take that piece down right above truss. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like screw gun time, right? Yep. And I'm just going to slide around on this in and out right, of the way. What are you doing with the... Uh, Pixelation? Key, key, uh, oh, should we sit in the truck for a minute? Uh, hydrate. We need to hydrate. Let's hydrate. All right. Hydrate. hydrate okay, folks. We're going to hydrate. And I'll see if I can clean the windows <laughs> off while we hydrate. Water. How did I get Time up here? Number two, then? as you guys know, we got to think safety first. We're going to sit in the truck and uh, answer some questions. Um. Oh, how did I get up here? Uh, what do you want to do with your leftovers? I'm just keep them there. Oh, snack on them? I'm not gonna snack them now. No, we want to. Sandy's restaurant, you guys. I gotta turn the air on. We went to Sandy's restaurant and had breakfast before this. Oh, we don't Colleen, have to... if you're watching. I was gonna try to clean that little bit of a lens while okay. they're looking. But... Well, we've got a uh, the cleaner liquid shit down here somewhere. Maybe Host can find it over there. Well, Host does everything. Oh, wait, I got it right here. Oh, got it. We're gonna clean a little lens. We're gonna wash everybody. So, you guys. We're gonna wash everyone's smile. We're gonna wash we smile. It's really this one. Oh, uh, this one, because it's live. So, Killer Bee Nation. I love you. Okay, Hosh, did you get some water for yourself? No, I will. All right, I have some. Trez, you're going to need water. I'm sure. We need probably. to hydrate. I know. Oh, my God, what a mess, everyone. So, guys, just bear with me. Just cleaning you all. Oh, Smile. hey, oh, 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 Smile, oh. Everyone. It's like being in a car wash. Smile, everyone. Except not as fun. And then this is. Uh, the except captures. for when the brush hits you. <laughs> Brush with oh, oh goodness! Oh my! Oh, oh my! Everyone smile. Oh, smile! 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 Doing a little brushy brush here. This is war footage, everyone. So just remember that when we're live in the hive. Oh, I've been saying that all day. What the hell's wrong with me? I, I am only taking this up for a second to have a sip out of my H5 helicopter. Oh, are you thermos. blind? I'm sorry. Huh? Am I, I told you. I warned you guys we were gonna squishy. What happened? Okay, we're gonna put this. So I, I. We hope you're all seeing everybody. Can everybody see everybody? Who cares? Anyway. I think so. Oh, oh Killer Bee Nation. Thank Jesus. You, for the water you know, the one thing I'm really thankful for, everyone, it's not 110 <sighs> degrees out. Right? Right? Okay. Yeah, it's a little better today. It's a little better today. And we still have a hive to go. You know what? I really think this is going to be a repeat of the first one. Yeah. I don't know about I don't think old we'll have hive. those weird, weird angles. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so either, uh, because they're going, they're already going up in that corner. Right. And so we're pulled down that, uh, same as we started with on the first one, and I'll bet you that's all going to be full in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these, these could have been here for, well, obviously years, over and over again, multiple generations yeah. on that first one. God, Killer Bee Nation. Well, they're Woo! balling what up. A cluster, they're huh? balling up oh, in front God. of that one. Woo! My so, God. You know why it's getting so super fucking hot? Because uh, it's gonna rain. It's gonna oh, it's gonna rain tomorrow. Yeah, we're supposed to get rain. Or tomorrow. today. Look at that. Oh, shit. look at the clouds. Yeah. Well, we'll get a, that shot of that when we get out. Um, does anybody have any questions? We're gonna turn that around mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. maybe someone can see if anybody has any questions for us. I don't know why we're so good looking. Okay, you're just gonna have to let that one go for now. I've never figured it out myself. We keep pondering it and we talk endlessly about it, like you all do. So uh, that one can go by the wayside. We appreciate the thoughts. <laughs> Bet there's a third close. Uh, Kiki, are you on? Kiki, are you on? Because um, I have medicine. Our good friend Kiki, uh, member of Killer Bee Nation, uh, is not doing too well. And uh, I'm not going to give away too much info, but she has been diagnosed with a horrible thing, and we love you. And I'm, I'm so sorry. I, she just let me know this morning. 
She loves the Killer Bee Nation, and uh, uh, if she's on, then I'll let her fill in the blanks. But yeah, off topic. Does at, Reed still play guitar? At her own discretion. Off topic. Wisdom, do so. you still play guitar? What happened? Off topic. Do you still play guitar? Oh, you know, I, no, I haven't played. I still have the guitar I grew up with. I have a 1957. We were in uh, uh, with one of those goddamn it alls, uh, with the Sears and Roebuck, you know, electric guitars. Anyway, my brain is fried already. I have a Supro amp, an old oh, tube amp. Kiki's getting love every from everybody. Oh, Kiki, from oh, TikTok she'll see it. and from YouTube. Yeah, I mean, she's it's really heartbreaking. I mean, my, kill the bees for Kiki. Fuck yeah, yeah, fucking right. I like how you think. Kill the bees for Kiki. I'm just so broken hearted. My God, Kiki, I just, it's such a shock. She just found out last Wednesday. Like I said, I'm going to leave it there and let her fill in the blanks, but damn. And we are in, I don't want to speak right in the speaker. Mm -hmm. really um, we are in Pierce, Arizona. No, I'm reading the questions, but I'm answering. But if I, oh, okay. I go like right to the speaker, it's wicked loud. Oh, <laughs> my voice is like obnoxious. Uh, no, only for those listening. Oh, shush. Ah, anyway. So, Killer Bee Nation, um, yeah, Kiki, our, our hearts are with you completely. Holy shit! If you have bees in your house, call a professional. That's just sick. yeah. Don't don't yeah. Don't call a beekeeper. I mean, See, these bees are I invasive. I don't. I highly. I don't recommend naming them. Who? The bees. Don't name them. Oh, I do. Asshole one, asshole two, asshole three. You get up to about ten thousand. And somebody years. asked, like, how many bees? Well, we're we're still counting. How many bees were there in that? Yeah, we're one? still counting. You know, that was a normal high bee. Oh, they coach. 50, 50, Where 50, is 000? Pierce, Arizona? Huh? Yeah, we're in Pierce. Look yeah, at the clouds. This everyone. is Pierce. As you can see, it's um. Wow, how fluffy! It's it's kind of uh, north. It's south, south of Wilcox. South of Wilcox, east of Hell, and, north and of right Bumfuck. around the corner of where the fuck are we? And north of Bumfuck. So then you know right where we are. It's beautiful country out here, remote. They know, oh, wow, crap. I, why doesn't this show the question enough for me to read it? You can scroll back. I can? Mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> I learned something new. <laughs> um, it says, I know the answer already, but for education purpose, why doesn't the beeswax melt if it's so hot down there? Why did the bees not melt? Why doesn't the beeswax melt if oh, it's so you, hot? Oh, that's a really good question, you Thank guys. You, that's a Tyrell. good one. Besides, how, why are we so good looking? I get tired of that one, you know. Um, Okay, why doesn't the beeswax melt? Now, this last summer, because it was a record heat in Phoenix especially, some of it did. Uh, but normally, if it's even 105 or 110 degrees outside, the bees can keep it. They have their own HVAC units. They are their own heating and cooling units. So in, if it's really hot out, they actually will fan each cell of the hive to keep it from melting is that awesome shit or what so hosh and i went through a phase there i think trez was on a bunch of too <coughs> where we'd get into what should have been absolutely nasty ass hives remember that hosh and they the, but the bees weren't i think he's asleep yeah oh, good no, no, I'm listening. Oh, <laughs> I'm good. Listening. i wouldn't blame him at all um so they should have been but and i finally cognized it was a hundred and 10, 15 degrees out. It was horrible. Thank God for the cooling vest that Don got us. Um, otherwise, I'd be dead. Um, they, The bees were in fanning. They were too busy to forage. They were too busy to defend the hive. They were too busy to do anything except keep their homes from melting. Isn't that amazing? Their homes are made of wax. They're not made of two by fours and concrete. Their homes are made of wax. Yeah, we'll get a good um, question. No, not a good question. MedTech, I'm I'm curious. How many of you are playing this drinking game? <laughs> That's the, my people. The Apparently, there's certain words that Reed says that they all drink at, and they're going to be adding good drinking <coughs> if you keep it up. Okay, oh. which, what are the words? No, I don't, don't even tell me. I just Otherwise, I'd be cheating. I'd be just going blah, 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 blah. I'm going to have to play on replay. What? Oh, you guys. Oh, my God. I love the nation. <laughs> uh, Mad Tech, you guys are you guys ridiculous. We love work. you. Oh, my God. Kiki, if you're on, please let me know. Oh, my God. Bee calls coming in tomorrow. It looks like, oh, well, tomorrow, if I can't remember what I have, except we definitely have a shed to tear up the floor up. Great big one tomorrow morning, you guys. We're busier now than we were in April. What the hell? It makes no sense. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, too, so it'd be fun to do one in the rain and show you guys how that works. Yes, um, we know there's a bee in the car. So, what the hell was I talking about? 
So drink the drinking game. No, drinking before game. that. Oh. I, I talked about that for about six oh, decades. Oh, melting the, the melting, 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 melting of the wax. wax. Melting of the wax. Boy, it sounds like a, a, a fucking uh, it's a poem. horror story. It's a, 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 oh, a, a oh, poem. Edgar Allan Poe. It's a short. It's a horror Ed, short. Edgar Allan Poe. Mm-hmm. Poor. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they so they can fan to keep their houses from melting. Now, on the converse, if it's cold out, these things are amazing. They do not migrate and they do not hibernate. So they don't go south for the winter and they do not actually hibernate. What they do is they hunker down and light the wood fire and watch movies like we do. No, they actually, um, uh, if it's zero degrees outside, they will hunker down in the middle of the uh, hive, like ball up, and by vibrating, which creates heat, of course, vibration, and eating honey, which is pure energy, they can keep it at 65 degrees in there. So that is why, with it so hot down here, they don't just melt every single time. So good question, really good question, you guys. So how's everybody doing? A little more hydration going on, then we'll go out and continue. Yeah. We never have any fun. And and someone on TikTok um, asked. They said they had a, a hive in the ground, and they were wondering what dug it up if it was a skunk or a bear. I don't know where you're located, but if you're yeah. located around here, it very well could have been Kawadi. Oh, Kawadi Mundi. Kua- yeah. Kua- I've, got a, like I've got a Kawadi, uh, hanging, a bunch of them hanging around the house again. Yeah. They're the, look them up online. They are the weirdest yeah, they're cool. looking. C-O-A-T-I-M-U-N-D-O-S-K-I. Actually, C-O-A-T-I. Just C-O-A-T-I. Look C-O-A-T-I. You look up Kawadi. Kawadi. C-O-A-T-I. They're really a cool critter. I wouldn't want to get in a fight with one. But they are pretty fearless and they will dig up, uh, like a skunk will dig up and eat um, yellow jackets out of the ground. These Africanized bees will live in the ground, period. So it's just weird. These things are just psychotic, but we're good at that. And like Hunter S. Thompson used to say, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. So let's go get some more bees. What do you think, Ahosh? You ready? Mm-hmm. 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 Trez, you up for it? Yep, sure. Let's do I think it. I should get my net back on. We got bees flying around the outside of the truck. Oh, yeah. There's and one right there on really the windshield. Oh, online. look at how beautiful the sky is. Yeah. It's fake. It's actually a set, guys. What happened? <laughs> what happened with what? This one. Yeah. Oh, it's that stupid one. Uh, I'll just ignore it. Crap in the eyes. You, you got your goggles on yeah. still? Yeah, I do. Good. So don't worry about this camera read. Okay. Because it's bye-bye. Okay, I don't care anymore. No, you don't care anymore. I don't anymore. care anymore. Why don't you care anymore? I don't care Why anymore. Why don't you care anymore? Ah. All right, guys. We're Why back do we do jobs in the middle of nowhere where there's no ice cream? <laughs> A bunch of angry yeah. bees. Come here. Yeah. All right. Uh, bar. Well, I gotta. I can unscrew. Unscrew. Oof. Here we go. We got the drill over here. the screens and then it looks like it didn't clean the screens. Here we go, Killer Bee Nation. Tres is back up on her perch. I'm perched. Ah! Damn. I want to put this stuff up here with you. That's funny, said so, so it's about Uber Eats. <laughs> Ubers. <laughs> we don't have Ubers. <laughs> have to turn away when shit falls. Uh, shit's gonna fall. I know. I know it's gonna fall. You know it's gonna fall. So if you had, you know, we had someone along that, that really liked what we were doing and and all the stuff fell out of the ceiling with the shit hit the fan. Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. Try the uh, honeycomb to feel. Okay, Hosh is making good work way. <laughs> It's not Feng Shui, it's Ho Shui. Ho Shui. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get on that thing. 
Yeah? On what thing? On this thing? I mean, I could just rip it down. If he sits on the edge here, yeah, I mean, then, these yeah, metal things will hold up a truck. The metal will hold, but you, it, you can't sit in this part because it sinks in my because little butt. Because she's sitting there. <laughs> well, I mean, and it sinks with the butt. We well, you know taking out some screws is really going to help, Coach. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Probably. You want me to move that ladder? Yeah, please. <laughs> oh, why did I know this was going to happen? <laughs> All right. You good? Yeah. Well, you look just about as comfy as, as an uncomfortable person. Ah, God, what a nightmare. Well, at least Colleen will be able to do what she wants after all the shenanigans are done. God, what a nightmare. And, and I think, I don't know, i got a feeling we're in for a big one here. You think? I think so. I'm going to move this crap out of the way. Ah! Oh, that little concrete blocks. Something tells me we're about a few moments we're going to be attacked as fuck. <laughs> That was some redneck shit right there. Ah. Oh my god. And it's only because it's difficult to go up and down in this thing is why I'm just sitting here. I am just not sure what somebody was trying to create here, but. Fuck. Huh? A oh, fuck. Too. I don't have another uh, hammer. No, but you got that other bar. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. Yikes. Uh, there we go. Whoa! I just saw a shitload of pieces come off. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh looking. my. Here we go. I had a train. Wait a oh, minute. I don't need to. Uh oh, don't need to. I got it. I got it, Hope. Thank you. Oh! Oh my, look <laughs> no, in look. there. There's two here. There's two. What? Look above your head. Oh you. my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, you okay? Close yeah. your eyes, hold your breath. Full of snot. Good stuff. Oh my god. Let us know when it's safe to turn. Turn. Oh. Ugh. oh god. What a deadly thing. Colleen, if you're watching, I'm so glad you're alive. Is she watching on YouTube? I think she was. Well, she's at least watching Man, this the car. Is just she didn't drive away yet. Full of mean bees. Holy shit. Be worse it is. That's like is held hollow. by the plastic. Look up there. No, that one's I know. empty? I know. That one's yeah, empty. you get the. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, my. I have got a nightmare here. Yeah, you do. Holy shit! Holy oh my shit! God. What the hell is and they're that? mean. And they're mean. Oh my god, are they mean? What the shit? I mean, this is absolutely. Okay, this Ugh. is Kansas settlement. This is a five, everyone. Yeah. Making sure my net's on. Go off. There you go. Got it. Net. Got it. Yep. Look at this, you guys. They will build around anything. It's a prime example. I'll Insane. show you later. Oh, we got too much shit going on here. God. Watch out for yeah. the electrical. Look at oh. that electrical right there. Oh my God, everyone. I got to get the light on it. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Hold on a second, wow. everybody. This is a five. This is, this is what we have Yeah, we'll settlement. be staying safe, guys. We'll be staying safe. Look at this, everyone. So uh, there's bees on that over there, Hoax. Yeah, I on see. That it. No, it's all one hive. Yep, I thought it's it was all two. one big oh. ass. Mean oh, fucking high. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the net off your face, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on right. You guys haven't even lit up yet because we haven't taken everything down yet. All right. I'm going to get a, yeah, let me get a, a tub. Honey. Let me get a tub. Because yeah. we got honey. And I got to make sure we don't lose too much shit here. Wow. Let me get a tub. Wow. Holy cow, everyone. Look at this. Guys. Yeah, man. Wow. Good stuff. Holy cow. All right, getting the... This is really dark. 
Cut it in half. You're gonna have to. It's that thick. Uh, this is really some unnerving shit, everyone. <laughs> Holy crap! Is like, Chris? Yeah. Find me that for a second. I see a shot that I love, and that is with the blue sky. You know what I mean. I love getting these shots, Killer Bee Nation. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh my God. Killer Bee Nation, just talk about, here you go. Your, your favorite shot. Oh my god, you're getting it? Yeah, but I'm going to actually slide back a little once he gets this cut. This is now, this is what we've been looking for, Hoge. Honey, yeah, honey. yeah. That's brood. Some of it. Okay. There's honey here too. So Reed, once he gets this cut, I'm going to put it here for a second, slide back, and that's going to go where I was. Got it. Okay, hold on. The just bag's so. over there, if right. that matters. Right. Well, this way I can get your shots. And I'm not right, what do you killing want, Chris? No, I just want to let you know what I was doing. Thank you. So I can get him. All right, Killer Bee Nation. Him, blue it's, sky, uh, bees, honey, everything. So instead of dinner and a show, this is dessert and a show. That's so we got a shitload. Honey. You know, this is this is like um, honey. what comb would be in midsummer when there's honey, pollen, and brew. This is really. And it's really old comb. This is really dark. Yeah, you see how dark this is, everybody? Yeah, it's old. Dark wax. So when, when they first make the wax, you guys have heard me say this over a thousand times, but <coughs> when they first make the wax... I'm sorry. Can you speak louder? We can't hear shit. I can't. I have a buzzing in my ear. I can't. Were you talking? Can everybody hear me? I'm no. trying to yell. No. Uh, really? I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting close to you. It's it so is loud. so damn okay. loud. Oh my god. Here, let just watch what he's doing. All right. We're gonna put music over this. It's all brood. My god. Damn it. This is a five. Wow. Nothing but on this side at least. Nothing but brood. No. Nothing but pollen. Oh! Oh my God! That is what I call the technical. The Latin for it is a shitload of pollen. Same. Wow! That they is must really... be pulling this off the crease. Uh, well, it, yeah. There's two types of water. Look, Trez. You see those two little holes? Oh yeah. See those two little holes, everybody? Yeah. Those are doorways, and they make those. They're so damn smart. So if this was hanging, they would have to walk all the way around here to get to the other side. Instead, they make doors so they can just scoot through to go to the next comb. That's awesome. Great Halloween costume. If anyone wants to um, get that, it's $497,000. I really cannot even hear you. i got so much luck. Oh, that's all honey. Wow. Okay, well, this is quite the score, everyone. Wow. Holy crapazoid. We probably should go with the fourth pin. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, you want to grab that funny knife out of there? Yep. And uh, I will go get the fourth bin. Wow. Sounds See like that, a guys? As opposed to the fourth horseman. It sounds, yeah, sounds like a Mexican novella, the fourth bin. <laughs> so, and then look, you can see in this side over here. Let get you a little closer on this one. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Right near in the lake. Oh, I've got a little bit. I think he's gonna like this 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 one right. here. <laughs> this is the last one. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Well, it's a good thing that we can just take that other thing away. What are you talking about? If we do that tank. Oh, I knew it. I saw. I looked over and I said, "You're going to grab the damn monkey." Yes, I know. She, she was. She was like, "Something is missing from this picture," and I don't know why. It's usually, there we go. There we go. Probably he's misleading them because he has a "I love you" heart. Yeah, they think he's. Like, no, look at them. They're attacking them. Look at. Them. So we 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 try to use this to show how uh, how these damn bees will attack us a uh, a real animal. And we don't want that. You don't, don't anybody think they can keep these bees? I mean, why would you keep a deadly invasive species? Makes no sense to me. Uh, it, it's just ridiculous. How's it looking, Hosh? Oh, Hold sticky. On, I'm gonna get the light up there again. There oh, we go. Oh shit! Holy shit! You okay? There's a lot of honey up here. I'm okay, but people don't want to look at my face. What happened? Well, I can't argue. How did, can't, how did it turn around? Argue. I didn't. Oh my gosh! A bee flipped it. Flipping you off. A bee flipped the camera. <laughs> <laughs> They're picky directors. They're picky More directors. Money, huh? yeah. My God, everyone, this is uh, we did not expect this. This is this is like a healthy. These are two incredibly healthy hives. Uh, Hosh was right. This one is not a couple of dead hives and a live one. But there's a hundred thousand bees in here for sure. Yeah. And. Uh, I, I'm just really shocked and really happy that Colleen didn't get killed because this is outrageous. This, this is what happens though. Uh, you know, it's a, quite the illusion because where you see them coming and going, you only see a dozen or two or a few. Well, like I always say, that's the airport, not the city. That's the loading dock. Here we had, you know, all told, a couple hundred thousand little devils that, you know, could easily kill. Oh my God, a, you know, a hundred horses, it's insane. And I say that because um, it only takes 500 stings to equal a snake bite. Well, if a horse is high strung, one, one bite, one rattlesnake bite can uh, kill a horse. And you know, most horses that get attacked by bees die from a heart attack actually. So uh, this, this was just literally Satan living up here in the eaves of this thing. We're gonna make it safe. It's gonna be a few days before uh, before anybody can do anything around here, which is that so well. Went from a few from went from never to a few days. Sounds pretty good. Now they've calmed down to about a 3.5, right? Well, there's still a four up in here. They are. Uh, yeah, I'm really. Of course, you're in the middle. I'm really wrestling with uh, my hood. Oh. Obviously. Oh. Well, you know, I... you know how it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're nasty. So now he's got all the old stuff down, right? Uh, I'm going to do some scraping over All right. So this is going to be a repeat of the other one where we're going to, uh, and by that I mean Hosh, will um, uh, do the undercoating thing. Boy, am I glad we picked up fresh cans. Holy shit. But we have to scrape down all that beautiful light stuff first. See what's in there as far as honey goes. Did you say that looked all empty? Yeah, it's pretty It empty. looks empty, but I can see some. Thing. Oh, yeah, there's honey. You want to scrape it middle. down? Yeah, otherwise it's just. In more. the very center of them thing. Yeah. In the center you want, of them you want to trade off? I can't no, no. speak now. <laughs> oh, she's okay. doing this. <laughs> like being a Viking. Oh, uh, scrape it down so it's kind of keep it intact. Oh, no. If possible. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that. Is there any way to not mush it? Or oh, is it all. It's just it's... the way that it's built. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's convoluted. Yeah. I know all about convoluted from my brain. What? Uh, you okay? Yeah. I, you know, the places of these things it, it just insist on building in. You guys see us day after day. Tomorrow will be a shed that we have to cut up the floor. And uh, the gal, it's over in Sierra Vista, so we're going to drag you guys along with us, of course. Um, the gal didn't know they were there. Are you okay? Well, you yeah. To no, I need a, I gotta get another tool. My tool's stuck up in there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, it is. I can't pull it out. My hands are oh. too... Oh, yeah. his hands are too, too greasy. <laughs> are too slippery with honey. Yeah. Uh, we have the straight uh, boy, uh, pry bar here. Uh, the, the flat bar? Sure. Yeah, or I'd get another. 
Another putty? Pretty nice. Yeah. Well, if that doesn't work, I'll grab, grab another putty. Yeah. So anyway, this gal didn't, of course, never knew there were bees under the shed because they were coming and going from the back end of it. But the neighbor found them. <laughs> now, the fortunate thing about this whole story is that uh, no one got stung. You okay? Yeah. And I, yeah, I wonder if we're going to be washing the suits later. Oh, yeah. Wow, everyone. Look at that. Look at that dark honey. Look at how dark that is. Mm. That's like uh, rich, like molasses, like uh, maple syrup. Yep. Maple syrup. So, all the killer bee oh. nation, I really got to ask you, I'm going to be sending out your uh, honey for the first of the month, because if you're a member on uh, YouTube of our killer bee nation at the queen level, you get a free jar of honey sent to you every month. I wanted to send out a maple honey butter to everyone, and I want to make sure that's okay with everybody. I usually send plain honey, but here we are into fall, and we make some of the most amazing maple honey butter. And if you're not a queen a member, you can go to KillerBeeGuy.com and, and check it out. But if you don't mind, everybody, Killer Bee Nation, please comment and let me know, uh, you know, if, if that's okay, if I send out a maple uh, honey butter to everybody. I can't see where there'd be an issue, but just let me know, you know. So for those of you who couldn't hear what Reed was saying because we're in the hive, mm -hmm. if you're a queen member, he could send you out honey. He usually sends you regular honey, but I'd like to send you out maple honey butter this time. So just leave a comment, let us know if maple honey butter is okay for the queen little. Yeah, I think I was going to, I'm just going to send everybody maple honey butter so they can enjoy that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at all this. Yeah, yeah. I want to leave them there so I can spray oh, them down. Oh, God, that's freaky when they crawl and right across your eye, you all. Good Lord, Killer Bee Nation, this is ridiculous. Uh, we're just able to get up here, so. Wow. I mean, host, this has been number four. Yeah. Holy This shit. is some creepy looking shit. Yeah, but what do you think about the bees? <laughs> oh, I was talking about the comments. Oh! Just kidding, I can't see. TikTok, I can't see you because you're shoved in the hive so high. Um, you're so high. You're TikTok. so high, TikTok. I mean elevated. Ah. Wow, what a nightmare. I'm really shocked at, at this aggression. Wow. Look, look at that ball to your left, uh, Travis. Oh, wow. yeah, it's amazing. <coughs> yeah, TikTok was right next to that. Oh, my God. Well, got a good you're meal. welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. For the nightmares. You're for welcome. The nightmares. Good Lord. Happy Halloween, folks. Yeah, no shit. Um, you want to get down and walk around with it since you've got most of that done? Okay. <laughs> Come down off your high uh, way. It's not a horse. It's a high water tank. Oh, good. Through her, she's done this so many times. It's like through her suit, and she's still gonna scratch her nose because that's how she is. Uh, that's how uh -huh. she is. Uh. So, um, Taylor B Nation. So this is Trez attempting to get down on top of the umbrella. Okay. Ready? Now, are you ready? And there she goes to not save the day. Here we go. Oh, here's your umbrella. There you go. Oh, and she goes twirling into it's the future. Kind of it's kind of sticky. Yeah, everything is. Oh, okay. oh! Oh, she almost took off. What? Oh, 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 yeah, there's a whole bunch of them up there. She's afraid. What a huge hive, huh, Hosh? weird up here, though. Look at Hosh. She's completely soaked in honey and sweat. And joy, just complete, joy. absolute joy. And, and as she is soaked. She should be soaked in a straight jacket, soaked with glue, but she's not. Anyway, just does the umbrella help with anything? No. Good. That's why. That's why we love it. Actually, it does uh, help with the. Uh, yeah. With the sun. Look at there it goes. It's getting ready to fly off with the bees. All right, going to give this back. Oh sure. As soon as I put the umbrella down. So uh, Hosh is going to get up and. Treat that with the undercoating now, and uh, we have a, a, a primate here stuck to shit, that's for sure. Uh, oh yeah, the bees decided that they were going to look at them, they're all over his eyeball. So once, it's all, it's all about the pheromones, and once they start attacking, so the next one that we take Bobo on, isn't that what someone named him? Bobo? Um, and then someone said name him Venom. Venom, that's a better name, so I, I like, like the Venom. Name Venom okay. better. So this is Venom. Wave your foot, Venom. Wave your venomous <laughs> foot. <laughs> anyway, it has a venomous eyeball. This is horrifying. That just shows that wherever they have stunk, that becomes a target area. 
until the air is so saturated with pheromones. So these guys are just focused on that area, but there's so much pheromone in the air now. It's just, when one flies by and goes, oh, there's a good spot, it's everywhere. This is a great set though. What <laughs> I know it looks artificial, <laughs> it's like, it's like, The clouds don't even look real. It's so beautiful out here. There's the sun and the sun. And hey, a cloud and a breeze, I am in heaven. Let's find another high. Right, Owen? Yeah. Oh. Masochist. Masochist. That's it. That's I it. like how you tap that. <laughs> yeah. It was like, oh, jibu, 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 jibu. Jibu, jibu. who's dad's who's dad's little tub of honey? All who's right. dad's little so, tub of honey? I'll tell you, this is a huge part of where the bees die. Right here. Yep. We got a big ball of them up there. Automotive undercoating. <laughs> oh my god. And no nice. folks, I'm not getting that close in this one. <laughs> So this is the only two hives we have at this immediate location. Thank God. Now, of course, we're going to have neighboring bees coming from all over hell, trying to steal honey. There's nothing to steal. Remnants, drip, drips and droplets compared to what was here. There's no bees to protect it. So the robber bees are going to be, they'll, it'll take them a few days to realize that and then go somewhere else. But this time of year, because there's very few wildflowers out there, two types. Yeah, it looks like even they might be about done. There's a white flower and a uh, broom, a desert broom and a uh, yellow little flower. And uh, they're about done too though. So they're really keen to steal shit because it's still warm up and they don't take a day off. They do not take a vacation. So they're gonna be, now see all these bees here, Jeff, around the tub? Those are all robbers coming from neighboring hives. You see how they're just sniffing around? Not even aggressive, they don't care about us at all. All they want to do is try to sneak in here and steal hunting. That's the only thing they want to do. The great example of robber behavior. Let's go look at this, uh, the old hive the first time. See what it looks like. Holy shit, you guys. What an animal. So Hosh did a really good job of coating that with the black shit. You see all the black shit up there? There's no bees there. But I guarantee you they're out here. Yep. They're out here on this. They might be like on the other one up above now. Alright, let's look up there now. Alright, well the remnants are gonna come back no matter what. You see with a normal hive like this one, it'd be about twice that with that one, because this one had maybe 50, 60,000 bees in it, that one hundred thousand. Two to five thousand bees or more will be out working in the field at all times, anything above freezing looking for something to do. They all come back along with all the bees that came out to fight. Everything left over after all this battle and war, those are leftovers of the hive. You guys have heard me talk about this. They're remnant bees. And but uh, and you, I'm going to use the same analogy because I've never found a better one. They're like an amputated limb. Okay, you can live without your finger, but your finger cannot live without you. These bees will die off. They can't go start another hive. They can't go join another hive. They're enemies of each other. So the remnant bees will die off like individual cells of an organism. Uh, we don't use smoke. These bees, the African eyed bees don't care about smoke. I used to use smoke. I'm just answering some general questions that we get every single time. No fire. No fires in the desert. <coughs> you ever heard of wildfires? They burn half this damn county. So no flamethrowers, no fires. Hold my beer. Don't do it. Um, and power washer. Uh, I used to. I, in fact, I had one on the truck. If you look at the old uh, National Geographic or Discovery show that I did, I had a power washer, had one on the truck with a generator, all that shit. Way too much equipment to haul around every time. I had stuff to trip over and everything. Then all the, I had way too many customers complain about the mess. And I mean, it makes a fucking mess. And you ever seen the aftermath of a fire where the fire department uses the soapy water? Fucking mess. Same thing with these. So, I got a hair in my mouth and I think it's a bee. What? Look at look behind you. Just look at. Oh my God! It's like bees everywhere. I, I, you know, you guys could sit and listen to me all day, just for the scenery. I'm sorry. Were you talking? Oh, horrible person! <laughs> horrible person! Horrible person! Horrible person! Horrible. 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 You just tasted crazy. Oh. I was looking over. Hey, let's show everybody what's going on here, Chris. A little wrap up. Wow. Looking great, Oak. Coated the living shit out of that one. Did you see that, everybody? Wow. Well, we knew we were in for something, but we had no idea what. And boy, we're, we hit the 
jackpot in a lot of ways today. We hit it in the honey, and we hit it in the danger. Oh, come here, Chris. Come here and look up at that up above. This is ridiculous. There's there's remnants for you. They'll all die off. Can everybody see those up there? Yep. They'll just die off. They cannot survive without the rest of them. So, anyway, wow, what a deal. So, if you do become a queen member on YouTube, uh, please uh, send me your address at killerbeeguy at gmail.com. Otherwise, I can't send you honey. Everybody's getting maple honey butter uh, this uh, month. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Hi, everybody. I don't know. You've seen. Yeah. Uh, so, if that's okay with everybody and that's a queen member already, I'm going to send everybody a maple honey butter for the holiday. And um, go to killerbeeguy.com, buy some honey. We love you guys. God, what a soiree. Holy shit. I'm wiped. What do you think, Hoshi? Anything you want to say to anybody? Yeah, let's Your see. head's full of bees. <laughs> Look, if you got, if you, uh, you know, you come out here, Cochise County, you want to start up something, you, you buy a house on auction or whatever, you know, people get, get these places all different ways somebody leaves you something whatever you want to fix it up you see bees coming and going you know you're from california where honey bees are nice okay or wherever you see bees coming and going you give us a call these things are waiting behind those holes where the bees are coming and going they're bad news they will kill you they'll kill your dog they'll kill your horse they'll kill your goats really really bad things they're invasive even if they're being nice on a given day next week they may go crazy Every single one of these is a ticking time bomb. It's just a matter of when. They will blow up. Anyway, honeybees are invasive to the Western Hemisphere, whether they're Africanized, a deadly invasive species, or whether they're European, those, you know, tepid, docile, weak assholes. All of them are invasive to the Western Hemisphere. Get rid of your bees. Never relocate. Only exterminate. We'll see you guys on the next job. Yeah, hit the little bell so, and then you'll know when, when we're going yeah, live. Yeah. I'm going to let Tris get in the air conditioner because we're like she'll melt. <laughs> and shit like that. But, you know, it'll, it'll only take about 10 minutes to get up. <laughs> hey, love you guys. Thank you so much for coming with us. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning at uh, the shed job. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much. Kiki, if you're on, we love you. Uh, damn. Yeah. I love you in sign language. I love, I love you in sign language? Yeah. Really? Is that what that means? I didn't know See, that. Because it's I, yeah. and then the L, and that's Y. So when you do this, uh -huh. it's I love you. Of I course, can't, my gloves yeah. are too weird. I don't know if it's how it looks on the screen. So. Anyway, all right. All right, love you guys. <laughs> we'll let uh, Tres uh, wrap that up. So, all right, here we go. I can turn you around this way so I can see the screen. All right, TikTok. Thanks for hanging in there with us. I know you always have lots of questions, and we always get to answer them. It's kind of the way the cameras are angled so you can get the best view so take care hit that notification button thanks for all the love and likes catch you on the flip side all right youtube you know we love ya so kiki love you honey and and our hearts there for you we're thinking about you everybody else thank you so much Dawn, always a big thanks for all the tools. Shit, I think I left the umbrella out there. They'll get it on the truck. Anyways, thank you much. Be safe, be happy, and be ridiculous.